Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be starting a custom ROM called MacDroid version 3 developed by ROM411 from Mexi Developers Forums. Now this custom ROM was originally made for Galaxy Pocket but it was ported from, by him. And uh, some of the basic features of this ROM are the Orex, zip aligned, it has some ice cream sandwich apps, it is kernel free, it has a Unicode style which I believe is most important because it has some colorful icons here and there which makes it kind of unique from the rest of the of the ROMs which use just basic uh, ice cream sandwich and jelly bean look so okay let's begin the first step is to download the zip file into your SD card and then power off your phone now once the phone powers off hold the home button the power and the volume up at the same time and you should then be in recovery mode now in case you are in in stock recovery, I would advise you to flash Kokomot recovery, so you can do that by flashing the zip file. If you don't have it, I have left a download link in the link in the video description. So choose a player update from SD card and select the CDWM zip file. And now the first step here as usual is to wipe data. So select that and wipe data. And next you would need to wipe cache. So choose wipe cache partition. There we go. Now just make sure in mounts and storage the system is mounted because sometimes I have experienced these problems in where the custom ROM would be installed only in half for some reason. So yeah anyways once you have done that head into install zip from SD card and choose the MacDroid version 3 YRC0 and now wait for the installation to be complete. It should take about a minute and I'll be back once it is done and as you can see install from SD card complete press the back button to go to the main menu and select reboot system now and okay so I'll be back once the phone has booted up completely when we're going to be on the wizard screen if there is one set up wizard screen sorry and here we are and like I said it has this unique style with the icons and everything else as you can see the battery is blue the signal bars are green and so on and what you see in here is the holo launcher app so this is the notification screen it seems to use the lidroid toggles but once again with icons changed except the last ones as you can see and the screen timeout as well it looks familiar so yeah this is the notification screen i'm just gonna do a quick test and see if it will turn on the flashlight nope hasn't been fixed most likely will take me to a force closing message there we go and the status bar is gone but you shouldn't really worry about that because most ROMs have this issue let's take a look at what we have in the app drawer so we have the camera the ice cream sandwich gallery app like I said this has some ice cream sandwich apps okay and uh, yeah seems to have most bloatware removed actually out of the boat level you just have the play store gmail the basic apps as you can see let's take a look at the task manager so this is what we get as you can see you have a lot of free space to install apps and uh, the message here on the RAM manager seems a bit long that we have scroll bar let's clear memory as you can see it kills a lot of apps when you clear memory and so as you can see this one doesn't really have that much uh, settings here and extras and so on as you can see if you head into settings we have the basic Samsung touch with look and no uh, other extra settings here as you can see just the basic wireless cow settings sound and so on let's take a look at the about phone just curious to know if there is an easter egg still the same one so yeah this doesn't seem to have the custom walk screens you basically have this walk screen here swipe screen to unlock unless they are hidden in here but I really doubt it, yep, the basic stock walk screens here and as you can see quick panel settings, you can move around these panels here on the notification screen and everything else seems to be basically the same as in any touch with ROM and the few last things which we're gonna take a look at is the Maxton mobile browser it seems to function as you can see, the app manages to start up without any issues then we've got the OI file manager I used to use this a lot on my tablet because I hated stock file browser and this one is decent actually so yeah good choice and let's take a look at the dialer everything else still here looks the same except the uh, the numbers here the digits seem a bit bored out I mean the buttons and everything else it seems so bored 
and the contacts everything else appears to be the same and as you can see these are the built-in wallpapers which we get in this room quite a lot of wallpapers here and it also has this glowing like uh, power menu as you can see pretty cool looking and that's about it there's nothing else to show in here in this room so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already once again thank you for watching and i'll see you next time goodbye